Assalamualaikum, very good afternoon. My name is Chef Zanjahari and this is Awani Global. And today we're going to talk about Hajj and Umrah. And everyone knows that managing uh, such a huge assembly, it's the largest assembly, we talk about Hajj now, it's the largest assembly in the world. Uh, this year's alone is about 1.3 million pilgrims uh, assembling in one uh, common place, uh, same place, um, same area. So managing people is, is something that is very difficult, and it, that is Hajj. And Umrah is about 13.5 uh, million uh, Umrah pilgrims last year. So this is a very uh, demanding task, a very difficult task, but uh, Saudi Arabia is managing it very well. Uh, they've been learning from experience from year to year. And today we talk, as I said, we're gonna talk about um, Hajj and Umrah and how Saudi Arabia uh, through its vision 2030, is planning to um, improve the pilgrim's experience and to make our pilgrims, uh, to make our Hajj and Umrah pilgrimage more meaningful. And to talk about that, here with me is Dr. Taufik Fauzan Arabia, the Minister of Hajj and Umrah for Saudi Arabia. Thank you, sir, for uh, willing to do this and Thank spending you. the time to meet us today. So let's talk about um, this year's Hajj, um, 1.83 million programs uh, and this is uh, one of the highest uh, number of uh, programs and at the same time uh, you've started to implement some of the Vision 2030 initiatives like the flying drones, the NUSU app, so on and so forth. Maybe if you could uh, start with uh, summarizing uh, your views on uh, Hajj 2024. So. Thank you. Uh, Bismillah ar rahim I'm very happy to be in Malaysia and uh, visiting Malaysia for the second time as Minister of Hajj and Umrah. Uh, for this year, Hajj, uh, we start the, the preparation for Hajj uh, right uh, after the Hajj of uh, 1444, mm -hmm. on the 12th of the Hajjah, which is basically almost before the end of Hajj 1444. Mm -hmm. We uh, distributed uh, the agreements mm -hmm. with the uh, Hajj missions, including the Malaysian Hajj mission, mm -hmm. uh, and we told them this is the start of the preparation for Hajj 1445. So the preparation was way ahead of the, the usual time. Oh, right. Uh, this definitely helped uh, other countries uh, to uh, basically make all of the contracts, uh, be well prepared, uh, mm -hmm. issue visas way ahead of what has been used before. Mm -hmm. uh, this early preparation uh, resulted uh, in uh, much better uh, results, mm -hmm. more uh, satisfactions, uh, and uh, as what I know, the satisfaction of Malaysian pilgrims this year is yeah. higher than the previous year. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was there uh, two months ago uh, performing my Hajj, um, and yes, the experience was amazing. But at the same time, as a journalist, I've also seen and learned a lot of new things, especially when it comes to innovation. Uh, various ministries with their own uh, innovations and, and, and initiatives. I give you one example. Uh, uh, the transport ministry with their flying cars, the flying drones. Uh, the road ministry or the work ministry with their uh, AI-powered uh, pedestrian lane. Right? And you've introduced the NUSUK app, for instance. So now with all these new uh, initiatives, um, uh, how, what was the response so far? And how do you, and how do you see the, the experience? How has the experience in, in the last Hajj season with this new initiative? Uh, how would you plan to move ahead with it? Uh, thank you. Uh, as you mentioned, there were uh, uh, some initiatives mm -hmm. to uh, improve uh, the experience, and we use technology uh, this year more than uh, ever before. Yes. Some of the initi initiatives uh, uh, are visible, and see people see the results, and some <laughs> yeah. initiatives probably behind the scenes. Oh, really? I'll give you an example. We have the Hajj BMO, which is uh, a center that uh, manages the Hajj uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 procedures, projects, everything uh, mm -hmm. from behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, there are. Uh, 40 government entities involved mm -hmm. in the preparation uh, for Hajj and probably thousands of different companies uh, mm -hmm. working for the preparation, mm -hmm. uh, managing the huge uh, number mm -hmm. of uh, government entities and private sectors is mm -hmm. definitely a huge mm -hmm. task. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's, 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 it's very important that we uh, 
work uh, uh, in a very consistent manner to ensure mm -hmm. the safety and the satisfaction mm -hmm. of pilgrims. Mm -hmm. uh, with regard to the technology, you mentioned some of these technologies, and I will mention the, the part that we did at the Ministry of Hajj, which is uh, uh, NUSUK uh, right. uh, uh, card. Uh, mm -hmm. The NUSUK card mm -hmm. has a big uh, IT platform behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it has built-in uh, 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 RFC technology, which enables mm. uh, the reading of the, car, uh, the, of the, the card uh, mm. remotely. And also, it's linked with the database, with mm. the multiple information. Mm. So if you just scan the QR code, you, mm. you can understand this program mm. belongs where, yeah. where is the address, mm -hmm. how if they get lost, someone can help them to get mm. to their place. And once they do their hajj, mm -hmm. they can use the same platform, mm -hmm. the QR code, mm -hmm to have Hajj certificate. All oh, right, yes. Yeah. yeah. So how has been the, how, what was the response so far? Uh, what can you learn from these experiments? Definitely, uh, every, every year we, we learn uh, new things mm -hmm. and we always try to improve. Uh, uh, the, the improvement is a continuous process. Right. Um, every year we learn from the previous experience. Mm -hmm. And as you know, Hajj is an event that is happening only at one, one time, yeah. in one place. Correct. Okay, there is no other Hajj in the world. There yeah. is no gathering of this size anywhere in the world. Correct. There is no people moving at the same time with a huge number. Correct. Including all of the support people. It's more than two million people mm -hmm. moving from one place to another place right. to, to the Haram. Yeah. It's a huge operation. Uh, you, c you cannot have uh, 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 probably uh, uh, crowd management as sophisticated as you, you would see in, in Mecca. Yeah. Uh, and this is definitely an experience that we built uh, over the past probably hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. And every year we try to even uh, improve on what we have done before. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 technology definitely uh, mm -hmm. plays a big role, mm -hmm. and we are trying to um, uh, introduce mm -hmm. new technologies every year. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it is a continuation process. Yeah. So now let's talk a bit more about Vision 2030. Uh, I mean to understand that uh, the kingdom is planning to double the size of pilgrims. Uh, I think currently it's about Umrah and Hajj. So in, 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 in cumulatively, I think about 15 million Umrah and Hajj. And, and to achieve, uh, you're planning to have about 30 million by the end, by the end of 2030. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so correct me if I'm wrong. Number one, number, and and how do you plan to do that? Uh, what what is your first steps? I mean, you've done your first step uh, this year, but moving forward, what what are the other initiatives that you might want to focus on? Uh, Vision Twenty Thirty came with uh, major initiatives to transform mm -hmm. to transform uh, uh, Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. and also to transform uh, the pilgrims' experience. Correct. Um, Vision 2030 came up with 11 programs. Uh, one of the major programs, were, uh, uh, it is the Pilgrims Experience Program. Mm -hmm. This is the only program that was uh, launched by the king himself mm -hmm. because it's very important. Uh, it uh, serves all Muslims ar around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the program uh, focuses on uh, uh, improving the experience. Mm -hmm and uh, uh, make sure it's uh, enriched experience uh, for pilgrims, whether coming for Umrah or Hajj. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the number of uh, uh, pilgrims coming for Hajj uh, is, will continue to be, uh, as agreed, one over a thousand of, uh, of Muslims around the world. Mm -hmm. And we okay. expect uh, some organic growth of this number by, yeah. by, the, by the next uh, years. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, people coming for Umrah, we mm -hmm. have the capacity to, exceed, uh, to uh, uh, expand the number. Mm -hmm. So every year we have uh, a bigger number than the uh, previous, previous year. Years. In 2023, as you mentioned, we had 13.5 uh, millions mm -hmm. coming from outside the kingdom. This does not include the people coming okay. within the kingdom. And this is a historical growth of mm -hmm. 60% uh, versus uh, 2022. Okay. And it's also almost 60% versus mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm which was the highest number. So mm -hmm. it was the highest growth ever mm -hmm. uh, we had in, P in the number of people coming from Umrah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now people coming from Umrah, uh, mm -hmm. they're not only coming for the two grand mosques. 
We have yes. developed uh, multiple historical sites yes. and museums. Mm -hmm. So we want to make it uh, a memorable experience that they will never forget. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are lots of sites to visit. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not like before. Mm -hmm. you, have, you need to probably see the history of the Prophet Sallallahu and the history of Islam in Mecca. Mm -hmm. So you can visit so many sites in Mecca and so many sites in, in Medina. Uh, also, uh, connectivity between Mecca and Medina uh, now improved significantly with the high-speed train. Yeah, the Haraman train. You know, yeah. uh, previously it used to take about probably five to six hours by bus, mm -hmm. up to six hours by bus. Now, within two hours, you can go from Mecca to Medina or the, the other way around. Mm -hmm. It's definitely enriching the experience and make the movement between Mecca and Medina mm -hmm. easy, smooth, fast, mm -hmm. safe. Uh, uh, working on the development of infrastructure and expanding uh, uh, the accommodations available for pilgrims is definitely part mm -hmm. of the uh, project that we are working on. And and I have so many things to say, but I don't want to uh, take the whole interview just focusing on the things that are happening. No, why not? <laughs> we are excited to actually you know all these uh, new initiatives that you're going to implement. Uh, when when the Haraman train started, we were so delighted. I said, hey, I really want to be on train. And um, when my story about the uh, flying did, 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 you, did you try the train? I haven't. I haven't. I didn't get a chance. Maybe, inshallah, uh, soon. But I witnessed so many other initiatives. And, and the response from our viewers in Astro Awani about uh, the initiatives that, that the kingdom implemented, like, you know, it's the flying drone. That was the first ever it was implemented in, in anywhere in the world. Right, you get to see it flying uh, in, 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 in in Saudi for the first time, and and for 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 the for the purpose, you know, for doing the fifth tenets of, of, of Islam. So it, it's for, for it's very it's, it's very meaningful, right? So of course we want to know more, uh, especially next year for those expected to for those who are expecting to to do to perform their Hajj and Umrah next year. Uh, so. Uh, the more uh, new initiative that you've implemented, then we'll be very excited to, to, to know about it. Mm -hmm. So what's next for next year? I mean, for, for 2025? Uh, we will continue uh, with the project mm. that uh, we have, uh, we have we? developed. Mm. Uh, uh, I cannot now give any uh, uh, promises, mm. uh, but uh, all of what I say will continue the development, will continue the early preparation. Mm. Uh, we will try to make it even a uh, uh, better experience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, definitely Hajj, but I have to say, Hajj by itself is not uh, historically and always is, uh, is uh, something that requires some strength. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 you need to move from many different places yeah. with a huge crowd. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to understand it's in the summertime there. So we have some, there's heat. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to make sure, yes, we are uh, advancing the quality of the services, but uh, we have to manage and understand it's Hajj, it's uh, part of the pillars of Islam, mm -hmm. which requires some uh, 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 physical strength and to be in good health. Mm -hmm. uh, and from the other side, we are always trying to improve all the services, safety, mm -hmm. technology, health, everything is being worked mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. to improve the quality of mm -hmm. services provided. Mm -hmm. Meaning there are things that you can control and you're doing your best to do. Absolutely. And then there are things that you cannot control, such as weather, yeah. climate. And, then and, and I, I just want to allude to something which is yes, very interesting, uh, uh, is the experience of pilgrims coming from Malaysia. Yes. Sir. And um, I want to uh, really uh, 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 thank and appreciate uh, what is being done in Malaysia. You have a very interesting concept, which is uh, Malaysia is leading the, war, the Islamic mm -hmm. world with. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is Tabung Haji. All right. It's 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 the first fund ever that was done uh, a long time back right. in uh, in Malaysia, and the interesting part of this fund, mm -hmm. uh, it has developed significantly. It mm -hmm. has matured uh, uh, during the probably I don't know more than mm -hmm. 30, 40, 50 years uh, mm -hmm. when what has when when it was initiated. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Malaysia is leading the Islamic world with this mm -hmm. fund. Mm -hmm. uh, and other countries are learning from what you have done. And they did their own funds based on the experience mm -hmm. of uh, uh, Malaysia. And what's, what's interesting about this fund mm -hmm. is the training program they do. The training program? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, pilgrims going for Hajj must go through a very special training. Mm -hmm. They get uh, a training for two months, mm -hmm. uh, the weekends of uh, over two months. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, they have very intensive training. And that uh, really results in, uh, let's say, a much better experience for Malaysians versus other uh, nationalities. And also the safety of Malaysians mm. uh, is definitely one of the, I say, uh, 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 one of the best uh, mm. among all nationalities. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can give you an example. Uh, this year we have, I mean, uh, uh, um, unusual heat versus uh, uh, other, other years that we uh, mm. had before. Okay. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, no, uh, nobody, uh, 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 passed away from the uh, Malaysian pilgrims mm -hmm. because of the heat or uh, heat uh, strokes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, probably other nationalities that not have the training, mm -hmm. okay, were not prepared for such thing. Mm -hmm. And um, it's unfortunate that some people passed away because of the heat stroke, because mm -hmm. they do not understand the risk of uh, staying uh, outside under the sun for uh, uh, a, long like, w uh, a long time. Uh, also, we noticed uh, that uh, Malaysian pilgrims are very well organized. They move in groups. They follow instructions uh, <laughs> exactly. And that also helps us yeah. to uh, manage the Hajj in a mm. uh, much better way. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, I truly say it, and uh, uh, that other countries should learn mm. from the experience of Malaysia mm. in terms of developing the fund, which is the same program. And mm. also, mm. Um, uh, which is very crucial, is the training program. All right. Thank you for, for actually pointing it out uh, since that we're taking it for granted. So meaning we have to give more emphasis on, on uh, the training part and maybe help other countries with the training as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I asked uh, Haj Tabung, uh, Tabung, uh, Tabung Haji to uh, uh, present their uh, experience mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, on, the, on the fund itself and mm -hmm. the training uh, mm -hmm. during the Haj Expo. Mm -hmm. Uh, which will happen in, in January 2025. So yeah. we'll have a, a very dedicated workshop yeah. for other countries to learn from mm -hmm. the Malaysian experience. Uh, Your Excellency, we have about three, to four to three minutes left. Uh, I have two more questions. Number one is, uh, yes, you are a very experienced minister. You've gone through uh, COVID as a minister of health and, uh, and you are professionally a trained uh, um, computer scientist. Yeah. Now, my question is about uh, integration, integration, uh, back-end integration, uh, integrating the systems here that we have here in Malaysia with Tabu Haji and your uh, system, maybe NUSU and all that, and integrating it well with the PMO, the project management organization that you've mentioned earlier, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, could that take place? Is, is this something possible? Um. Uh, first, as I mentioned, mm. that we start the preparation w way early, which is on the 12th of the Hijjah mm. mm. uh, uh, of every year for the next, for the mm. following Hajj. And mm. uh, we try to integrate uh, the data. Uh, mm. uh, uh, so when people apply for visa, this is where we start to get, yes. to get the data and we start the, prepara uh, the preparation for those people who are coming. Mm. Also, uh, uh, the health aspect. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the health, uh, the health information of pilgrims mm. is something that we are uh, in interested to learn mm. so we can mm. prepare ourselves to provide health services. So we work with the Ministry of Health in Saudi mm. and the uh, Ministry of uh, Religious Affairs to pass mm. this information so we are prepared. Mm. Uh, and uh, we are also thinking of other integration to mm. make uh, the Hajj experience smooth. Mm. And uh, we're always willing for any new ideas. Mm. Last question, you've been meeting with uh, the Prime Minister, Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim, uh, recently, and how is it? Is there any uh, uh, positive, uh, positive news that we could, could uh, be expecting? Uh, uh, it was an excellent meeting. Oh. Uh, uh, the results, uh, the discussion was very enlightening, mm -hmm. and uh, I, uh, I'm truly also expressed my, uh, our happiness that for the development uh, and uh, growth that we see in mm. Malaysia. Uh, I understand uh, the GDP growth this year is almost uh, 6%. Alhamdulillah, yes. It's exceptional. Right. So uh, I really congrat congratulate uh, the mm. Prime Minister for this uh, major achievement. Mm. Uh, also, I express my appreciation uh, for uh, 
the outstanding uh, uh, coordination that we have with Malaysia in, mm -hmm. in the preparation for Hajj. Mm -hmm. Also, I express my appreciation for mm -hmm. the training program that I mentioned and the funds and the saving program yes. that is being done in Malaysia and how mm -hmm. it's a role model. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told them that we need to pass this uh, experience to other countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last thing I would say uh, uh, that uh, Malaysia is a, a very loved country in Saudi, and I know so many Saudis love to come to Malaysia, including myself. Yes, okay. Thank you, thank you. And uh, uh, I admire and uh, I'm really... You, you're, uh, you're, you're welcome to stay longer. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I would love to. Hopefully one time I'll come back again with inshallah, the family. Inshallah. Well, I have done it before and I'll do it inshallah again. Inshallah, inshallah. And uh, thank you so much for spending the time with us today. And... Uh, and we would like to also thank you for your insights, you know, something that especially uh, things that we could expect uh, in the very near future uh, in achieving Vision 2030 uh, under the umbrella of Hajj and Umrah. And um, I think this, is, this conversation will be very well received by all Malaysians, especially thank you. the Muslims or majority Muslims here. Uh, again, thank you so much, Your Excellency. It was Dr. Taufik Fauzan Arabia, the Minister of Hajj and Umrah, uh, Saudi Arabia. And uh, thank you so much uh, for spending time to watch us. And uh, I believe you've got your own views and, and comments. You can just share it on our social media. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next program. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.